Imagine a world in chaos, where kingdoms crumble and empires collide. From this turmoil, figure emerges, Timur the Lame. How did this man, marked by a physical disability, rise to become one of history's most feared and successful conquerors? Born in Central Asia around 1336, Timur, or Tamerlane, was a complex figure. A descendant of Turkic Mongol lineages, he envisioned himself as the heir to Genghis Khan's legacy. His ambition, to unite the fractured remnants of the Mongol Empire under his banner. The world Timur sought to conquer was a powder keg. Petty Khans squabbled for territory. Powerful empires like the Ottomans and the Delhi Sultanate cast long shadows and religious tensions simmered. To impose his will, Timur would need more than military might. He'd need cunning and an unwavering ruthlessness. Timur's military genius was multifaceted. He mastered siege warfare, building terrifying war machines to breach city walls. His cavalry was legendary, moving with astonishing speed to overwhelm his enemies. But perhaps his most potent weapon was fear, massacres, construction of gruesome skull pyramids. These weren't acts of senseless violence, but calculated moves to break the spirit of his foes before battle even began. Timur's defining moment came in 1402, the Battle of Ankara. Here, he confronted the expanding might of the Ottoman Empire, led by the formidable Sultan Bayezid of Furn. Through tactical brilliance and exploiting divisions within the Ottoman forces, Timur won a decisive victory. The capture of Bayezid sent shockwaves across the known world, cementing Timur's dominance. In his lifetime, Timur the Lame forged an empire stretching from Russia to India. India. His conquests left cities in ruins, but also sparked an artistic and cultural renaissance in his capital, Samarkand. His legacy is one of blood and glory, a testament to both his ambition and the brutal realities of his time. Timur's story is a fascinating and controversial chapter in world history. If you're intrigued, dive deeper into the complexities of Central Asian empires. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments which historical figure you'd like to see explored next.